In this section, we'll take a look at transport mechanisms. This overview is what we'll take a look at first and just kind of give you a tease as to what happens in different parts of the nephrons. At this point, I want you to dive into the glomerulus and uh, take a lovely little bath in one's urine. Proximal. What does that mean to you? PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. And what you want to pay attention to in this picture is uh, there's two nephrons here. And uh, do not get accustomed to only one image, one graph. What I mean by that is it's all about perspective. Here, you're looking at the glomerulus. Right beyond it, you hit the PCT. And then you go through the thin portion. The thin portion, in your mind, you're thinking, well, you're creating what kind of urine? Hypertonic urine. How can you confirm that? Well, when you get to the uh, medullary loop of Henle, then you know that you can have your urine osmolarity, urine osmolarity, being above 300, definitely. 600, 900, potentially, potentially up to 1,200. Now, clinically, when we walk through some important pathologies, including things like um, diabetes insipidus, then we'll take the, the, the urine osmolarity and its measurement becomes really important for us. Right now, we're reabsorbing the water, aren't we? Along with this, obviously, there is going to be two-thirds of many of your electrolytes that is also being reabsorbed. The distal portion. Well, here, we we'll begin our discussion of looking at our thick ascending limb. And thick ascending limb, of course, having the most important symport known as your sodium potassium 2 chloride. And we'll be spending time with this region at a later lecture. DCT, cortical collecting tubule. And DCT has uh, thiazide sensitive, removing sodium, 25% or so, and then also your chloride, and also responsible for. Uh, your PTH receptors reabsorbing your calcium. Hmm. The cortical collecting tubule and medullary will group them together, and as a whole, we'll call that the collecting duct. And with the collecting duct here, we are, have, well, depending as to what can effect took place in the DCT, which is known as your diluting segment, isn't it? Because you're moving your solute, and you're creating what kind of water? Free water versus obligated water. You've heard of such things in physio. You've heard of such references in nephrology. Free water will be completely free of solute, creating diluted urine. And depending as to what kind of modification took place, well, whether or not there was ADH and such, it will make sense as to what kind of uh, tonicity of the urine that you have by the time you travel through the distal tubule and the collecting duct. Nice little overview here as to what you can expect. I've given you little tidbits of information so that you're not blindly going through here. Everything that we're going to do, you give it some type of medical piece of tag, clinical application, and uh, you create a perspective as to what happens. <music>